Welcome. Uh, my name is Tomasz Guzik. I'm Editor-in-Chief of Cardiovascular Research. And uh, I would like to welcome everyone to our series, Leaders in Cardiovascular Research. We have a huge honor today to uh, host uh, Dr. Eric Olson, uh, who has uh, visited and honored uh, us uh, with his presence at the European Society uh, for, of Cardiology Conference. Eric, thank you very much for, uh, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Uh, we always ask people uh, who are uh, as successful as you uh, uh, in science, uh, what is the secret of success? Is it ambition or is it talent? I wish I knew the secret to success. Ambition and talent, one needs both. One can't be successful with one without the other. I would say ambition, meaning hard work, determination, is really essential, but that has to be combined with some level of talent or insight or creativity. So it's a real marriage of those two. And uh, you've contributed to cardiovascular medicine in many ways. Uh, which of the, the, the successes or, or findings of yours uh, you yourself consider uh, your, your most important? When I reflect on the arc of my career, I would say there are two general areas that I found to be the most gratifying. The first is the trainees that have come to my laboratory who have entrusted their careers to me and to the training they would receive in my laboratory. Seeing their successes both during their time in Dallas and beyond has been enormously gratifying beyond what I ever anticipated. The second area that brings me great pride in my career is the contributions to understanding muscle biology, the many discoveries from my students and postdoctoral fellows of the gene regulatory molecules and mechanisms that guide the formation of all the muscles in the body, and an understanding of the way in which those mechanisms are deployed or dysregulated in disease. So, it's the combination of training and scientific discoveries that really has brought me great satisfaction. I think it's always great to uh, hear from people like you uh, how important the interaction with young people are and, uh, and how important uh, supporting their careers is. Uh, the, one of the big obstacles in uh, cardiology in general is uh, ability to quickly translate uh, findings. Uh, what is your view on uh, the ability to, tra to, to the road to translation, as they uh, call it? Because it uh, is very often very long, but uh, are there ways to shorten it? This is a very good question and an important question. I've approached translational research from the perspective of a basic scientist. I'm a PhD. I'm not a, a physician. I feel it's extremely important to understand the fundamental mechanisms and the basic biology as a prelude to developing a therapy. So it, there have been many cases where individuals have jumped into therapies saying it doesn't matter how it works as long as it does work. I would disagree with that approach. I think it's the more we can understand about how processes in nature work, the better off we can optimize them and the more likely are we can understand adverse effects. So I think it's very important to understand mechanism. So what do you think uh, is the, few, the most exciting uh, uh, discovery or uh, a most translatable discovery currently in cardiology or cardiovascular medicine in the basic science area? That is well, more for I, us. there are many exciting areas of investigation in cardiovascular biology. That's for certain. Many are more traditional, such as traditional drug development, and others are more pioneering, I would say, more contemporary. What I am most excited about right now, myself, is the potential to use gene editing strategies to correct single mutations that cause disease. There are literally hundreds of monogenic disorders that affect muscles and the cardiovascular system. We understand the genes involved. We know the identity of the mutations that disrupt these genes. And now we have the technology at our fingertips to correct the blueprint of life and change errors in DNA. And I think this is so exciting for the future. There's a lot of challenges ahead, but I believe that's where 
much of science will ultimately be headed. And I cannot agree more. I think it's a very, very important point, but also the point you made about uh, uh, how we need to understand the basic mechanism before we jump uh, to, uh, to uh, translation, because in the past, uh, uh, many, many very valuable findings were destroyed by uh, too quick and not really uh, thoughtful uh, 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 implementation. So uh, I, I cannot agree more. And if I can ask a little bit, maybe more uh, on personal uh, ground, what do you do in your free time? Uh, how do you relax? I heard uh, you have a band. Well, I came from a musical family, and I have always had a love for music. So I do play in a rock and roll band. We're called the Transactivators. Uh, and I like to do that in my spare time. We perform around Dallas and at various other places. So, so which beyond, instrument is your favorite? Well, I play guitar and harmonica, and I sing. Okay. And beyond that, I like to spend time hiking in the mountains or spend time with my family. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. We had an uh, incredible honor to host uh, uh, Dr. Eric Olson uh, within our series for cardiovascular research, leaders in cardiovascular research. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.